see the remnants of the little gas bladders, these little spherical objects here. One of the fears is that because the sargassum is buoyant and floats, as does the oil, that the oiling of the sargassum will have detrimental effects. It's an important habitat for a lot of species of invertebrates and fishes, um, primarily because you have these open ocean areas where there's very little habitat, and now you have this structurally complex algae that's there, lots of nooks and crannies, so you have many species that use that as nursery areas. And by that I mean they can find protection from predators, and they can also find additional food resources there. So one of the major concerns is because sargassum floats near the surface waters, and they inhabit um, the, the same regions of the water column where the oil is having a major impact, is that the oil will somehow impact and kill the sargassum and take away this habitat from many fishes and, and invertebrates that rely on it. It sort of free floats with the currents and if it gets caught in the wave action near shore environments, it just gets tossed up onto beaches. Um, you can see it collects a lot of other, whatever's floating in the water. The death of the sargassum could also mean the death of nursery habitats for many species that we're concerned about. Great triggerfish, mahi-mahi, there are different tunas and billfishes that utilize these habitats as juveniles, and that could have um, detrimental effects on the year class strength of these fishes.